everyone, Lindy here with another easy paint along using watercolors again. They are my favorite. I'm going to pick a few different shapes for our planters. If you like one of these shapes, you can do all three that one or pick your favorite two. Play around with what you like. None of this is set in stone as the way things have to be done. So have fun. I just make a really simple outline and adjust it as I need to and then fill it in with color. Now I'm using the smallest brush I have to start making green stems. I apologize the camera is so far away, I do fix that eventually. I make my stems longer in the center since that's how flowers are usually arranged and I think it looks nice. Making some closer together than others adds a natural look too rather than a bunch of green sticks all the same distance apart. Then I get some purple on the very tip of my brush and start at the top making tiny dabs into a sort of lavender flower shape, getting wider at the bottom. Keep these so that they point different directions and some are lower than others and that will add to the more natural flower look. Then I use the same green stem color to make leaves. Use the heaviest pressure at the bottom of your leaf and flick your brush upward using less pressure as you go up to get a nice flick shape. So hard pressure up into light. Next, I'm using green again to make teardrop leaf shapes that come outward from a center point like they're attached to a stem. Make those smaller as you work your way up. And having them point in different directions helps again here too, just to get that natural shape. I just kind of fill in the gaps here to make it look like they're filled and lush. Lastly, I used a different green that's darker to make long stems again. And the smaller the brush you have, the easier this is. I went over these about a dozen times trying to make them have even color and be super gentle so I wouldn't have big blob stems. It's hard. So a teeny tiny brush makes it easier, but just be really careful if you don't. Um, then I use a red orange to make teardrop shapes again. I give each uh, flower different varying amounts of petals so that they look different and natural. And one little baby bud on the last flower, just like that one, hasn't bloomed yet. Then I just came in with more color, just to brighten them up where the color was kind of thin. Now leaves again! Heavy pressure, flicking up into light pressure. It helps to practice on another piece of paper. Now I can remove my tape, which is always satisfying. And then we're done! You can laminate your bookmark to help protect it from wear and tear, or you don't have to. Thanks for watching! 